The Destroyer comes to town in Detective Comics issue 951. Months ago, a colony officer is tortured by Shiva for trying to stop her in her own stronghold. He says that the colony needed to stop her here at her base since the Batman ran them out of Gotham and kidnapped Colonel Kane. Killing him, Shiva says that the League of Shadows will move on Gotham now. In Gotham, Batwoman's team is training in the mudroom while Kate talks with Batman. She talks to him about how she doesn't really think that the penguin in the mudroom should know how to do kung fu. As she continues to turn up the pressure on the team, Batman cuts comms and heads into a broken penthouse. Inside, he finds the body of Mayor Hattie, strung up by bat-shaped swords on the wall. Before dying, Hattie says that the League of Shadows did this to him. Police arrive and try and arrest Batman for the murder, but he easily escapes them. However, one cop manages to shoot him in the arm on his way out. Later on, Batman and Batwoman talk with Jacob Kane, who tells them about the games the League of Shadow plays. Batman dismisses the League as a conspiracy theory and is not a real thing. After their talk, Batwing contacts them, alerting them to come to the central computer room. Arriving, the team watch as two news anchors are killed by what appears to be Joker Toxin. Batwoman begins getting reports of riots over the city and gas rising from the sewers. Batman still refuses to believe that the League of Shadows is behind this, saying that it is all too obvious and it can't be true and that it might be someone using their myth for an advantage. Going to Adams Square, they find the rioters, but Cassandra notes that something is wrong. As the team descend on the people to help subdue them, she says that they are just pretending and the people stop fighting, gathering swords and they begin to advance on Batman and the team. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, this is the beginning of the much anticipated League of Shadows story arc and one thing I really like about this is how adamant Batman is that they don't exist, These they can't exist, they, it's too obvious, it's, he's given all these pretty good reasons and I like that they actually do exist, so it's, it's kind of proven him wrong and everything and it's going to be interesting to see how he goes up against them as well seeing as that he thinks they're not too real and they're just copycats or someone who's using the myth to further their own advantages and stuff like that. It's going to be interesting to see what he does, especially compared to Batwoman who has her father telling her that it's true, it's all true, you know, you've got to be careful and everything. It's, I, I imagine it's going to create some type of rift between them, maybe? Maybe Batwoman will feel that Bruce isn't trusting her enough or something. Uh, it's definitely going to be very interesting. And we also get Shiva the Destroyer back, which is awesome. I'm going to give this issue a 9 out of 10. Thanks for watching, remember to leave a comment in the comment section below or follow the links on screen now to other reviews or topic videos. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe for more weekly reviews and videos.